a better one to counter attack to the side of Tim Liquid. On the other side, the fact that there were certain amount uh, that we see from the side of Adamir as well as Al, who tried to crowd control as well as try to encounter or even try to minimize the damage that's been put out by Team Liquid. Hopefully, that will be put out here even more further and with the help of the rest of the teammates. Yeah, well, I mean, NIP Flash, they got that blue side on him. So, we get the Arlen, get the chip banned out. This is a chance to see if that Valentina goes over the Curtis here, right? Because it is great first pick material. Link banned up by Liquid Farm is banned up by NIP Flash. Yeah, I expected the Assassin bans coming around, uh, coming out, right? But Team Liquid, they know that they're second pick. So, you know what? Let's just ban the Link out for, you know, safety reasons. NIP Flash, how will they go approach about this, right? First pick. Are they going for? Are they going to prioritize their jungler? Are they going to prioritize JPL? That's still up in the air. Mm -hmm. You mentioned Valentina as well. Maybe that's gonna that's their approach, right? With the Faramir span out, perhaps they want to be more versatile with the Valentina. Yeah, I think there's a possibility. Well, we've seen them uh, kind of show the the Zaz first pick on red side in game uh, game one. That this, I don't think it's gonna happen here. At least not on first pick. We just have to see what NIP Flash have in mind. Banning out the Roger, which Banning QT completely demolished them with in game one, Fasha. Ooh, Banning QT. But then again, I think there's uh, no issue. I know for a fact that Roger has been banned uh, multiple times already. Then I think Benny Cutie will be able to actually maneuver around the situation. And uh, for the fact that Team NIP Flash, that was a good move. Okay. Let's see what Liquid bans out. Valentina still on the board. I mean, you have the Loyi, which has fallen out of popularity, Goni. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think both teams now already has that sense with the Loyi. And the burst damage, if you compare it to Valentina, it, it does hurt more with the Valentina, arguably. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the alt, right? IMU is just so powerful, especially in top tier tournaments, right? With the Harith ban out, though, it will open the Valentina out. But the question is, does Team Liquid is baiting with the, with the Valentina pick? I mean, they, they do have a lot of a lot of cho uh, choices to kind of respond to this. If the Valentina just does go through for NIP Flash, I mean, Liquid, you're looking at, again, potential Luo Yi uh, as a response. We've seen them uh, in game number one, where they essentially got power picks to open up the draft. So, Fasha, we're looking at NIP Flash right now. Valentina feels very juicy, but aside from that, it's going to be the option, though. Moskov, Ooh. a hero that was banned out last by TLPH in Game 1. Mm, okay. Destroy Opening up an opportunity hunger. for Al to actually take Moskov. And we know for a fact, Moskov, uh, when it comes to the mid-game and late-game, Moskov is to be not uh, looked down upon. And I think that this is a really good move coming in from NIP Flash. Wow, and again, power picks coming out. First of all, they take Ooh. the Zask away from oh. NIP Flash, but they also get themselves the Edith, which in the previous game was in the XP lane from Sanford, right? You can, you guys can see the previous draft on the uh, on the screen on top of the current draft. Zask stolen, uh, Roger Ling banned out, Arlet banned, and the Edith repicked by TLPH. Again, Edith just gives you so much good wave clear, good damage, good crowd control, and is the flex pick. And I think that there's a possibility that Team Liquid knows for a fact that this rotation is going to be even more uh, sustainable for them. They're doing the same formation and hopefully this is a, the same case. When it comes to the rosters of Team Liquid, is the fact that NIP Flash, you are being exper exper uh, experimental to the fact that uh, people cannot expect you. But when it comes to Team Liquid, they've already have a lot of chemistry. They've already uh, established a lot of of their combos, they've already used to it and they know for a fact what they can actually put out inside the battlefield. Yeah. I mean, we see the Ruby which was uh, played by JPL uh, in game one, but we also kind of highlighted that Valentina being a Cartesi hero, right? And mm -hmm. IP Flash, they get it, but I don't think Team Liquid Philippines are too bothered. They, they haven't really reviewed too much, right? You only got a Zaz which technically can still go mid. The Fanny coming out from CarTZ, what no. a treat we're getting. First a Link, then a Fanny after so long of seeing him only playing tank junglers. I'm feeling really good about this. Oh, Team Liquid even surprising us even more with Fanny. I mean, like, just when I thought NMP Flash might have it in the bag, I think Team Liquid is responding very well. And now, uh, I don't know what... 
what they are actually oh with hayabusa been taken out already this is going to be really really more interesting for the side of team nip flash yeah just banning out Hades' hero pool, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Heal of Assassin, we ban out the good ones. No more Link, no more Hayabusa, no more Roger. Uh, his signature pick is actually the Amon. He does play the Amon ah. and he sometimes plays Guinevere as well. But then you look at Liquid Philippines' draft, it does not feel good. Like, if, if you want to play those two, or even a Martis in the sense which could still be picked into the jungle, there really isn't anyone that you can reliably take down. So it does put Hades in a very rough spot. Yep, definitely. This is gonna be crucial Tate for the side of GPL as well as Adamir. And the fact that oh So they better the time. Yeah, you, you talk about how we haven't seen Nathan for a long time, haven't we? No, we have not. I mean, recent uh, patches really brought Natan down in terms of the tier list. Uh, this ban probably just serves to protect the Moskov and to kind of lock out a bit of that late game potential. But you do have the Claude uh, for the side of Liquid Philippines if they want to go for it. I suppose the Claude could be a bit more manageable. Julian banned out as well, so uh, you re they really are putting a chokehold around Hades' neck. I, I do wonder what is the response from NIP Flash, right? I I'm. I have a feeling Hades is still going to play an assassin, most likely, but who else is there on the table? Let's see. Are they going to actually pick back to Rizla? This, that's actually one of the options they might be able to be put out again. And we do see that the fact that Team Liquid, uh, they've already have a really good uh, draft already from the three heroes they, they have it. Five more seconds to go, and we don't see. Oh! You're gonna ban out the Lolita of huh. all people. It's to protect the Moskov, for sure, right? She puts yeah. out the bulwark, and yeah, Claude comes through. We've established this. Natan bans out, so Claude gets picked. That one is pretty straightforward for Team Liquid. That's for NIP Flash, we're looking for a potential XP lane because we did see JPL on the Ruby. I, I, a part of me really wants to see the JPL show, but I don't feel like this is the game for it. It's just too tough. So perhaps you will still get the Ruby Roam and JPL uh, and then Adamir's XP, maybe Terizla, maybe Yuzhong if you want to go a bit more oh. aggressive, right? a bit yeah. more laning, a laning uh, advantage. That could be a choice as well. Definitely, that could be a choice for NIP Flash to turn things around despite it is actually a bit difficult. Again, on the note of side of you're saying that Hades is gonna be a little bit struggle right now, but then again, things could be able to actually be put out with Minotaur. Okay. Been put out for GBL. Completely forgot about the Nolan the assassin pick that was absolutely must ban, must pick. Fizzle out a bit now coming back into the picture for the side of MIP Flash. So if Hades gets his assassin, we get a Ruby uh, XP lane and the Minotaur as a safety net. Fovius being the final pick for Liquid Philippines. This is going to be very interesting because you got so much dash, right? Moskov dash, the Abyss Walker, Valentina dash, Nolan dash, Ruby dash. Sanford is going to have a lot of fun. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see what NIP Flash versus Team Liquid. Could this be a turnover for them? The fact that I feel like this is a better drafting compared to the first game mm -hmm. because the response that was done by NLP Flash was a bit on a lope side for them. So Team Liquid, they might have it in the bag, but NLP Flash could be able to manage all of the damages on the side. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I agree, NIP Flash's draft does look a lot more solid, but this Fovis last pick, right, it, it could be the deal breaker that allows Team Liquid to kind of fire up again and take this series 2-0 to put NIP Flash in their place. Delana Don is ready. Ghani, Fasha, Bunny, I'm gonna leave the stage to you. Bring us in. Hey, Land of Dawn, here we go. And Fasha Bunny, what are your initial thoughts here on the second game? I want to hear it. Like I said, I am hoping all the best for NIP Flash because again, drafting-wise, it's been it's even better despite the fact that maybe there is a possibility Team Liquid still have the better upper hand for themselves. But NIP Flash making a better decision-making and hopefully also with the communication that was... Uh, was not seen, it was a little bit missing on the side on that first game. Maybe this second will be their redemption. All right, let's see here. Spell check, oh, okay, 40 on that Fovius has the purified. <laughs> Alongside Owl as well. So both teams has some sort of a anti-CC spell on their side. And of course, Benny will opt for that sprint. 
on that clawed. Hmm. Hmm. First two minutes, almost. No first blood. Same like the last game. It was up until the second turtle, if I'm not mistaken, that yeah. first blood occurred. That solo kill. Oh, oh wait. never mind. <laughs> he another. spoke too soon. Yeah, another <laughs> off-cam first blood here. This time for Hades. Hades getting the first blood. I, I'm loving it. The fact that this is coming in from NIP Flash because we saw how it was. T when it comes to Team Liquid, they don't mess around. They don't actually uh, do anything to actually slow things down for Team NIP Flash. And once they actually get the first blood, that's when the it set the tone on that game itself. And once NIP Flash has this good move, this could be a good start up for the team of NIP. And as we do see that somehow, Anamir gonna go in for a fight with JB, stunning JB straight away. Okay, invested time offended, but no, uh, no, to no fruition now though. First throw will be poked around by NIP Flash. Hades is in the bush, staying hidden. He will show himself now. 40 in the front side. Good a skill there by Adamir. But take a look at Phobius now with the skills. Hades still finds the turtle. Now, take a look at Team Liquid. They didn't want to fight. Hades now in trouble. Will be point by Sanford. Now, Adamir again is trying to sustain with that Ruby. But the damage is actually more than enough to take him down in a bit. Sanji will fall first, though. And that is triple for Curtizi. What? What is going on? I told you! This is a better draft coming in from NMP Flash. Great movement, great stole uh, turtle coming in from them, and the fact that they had a really good move. I mean, Carl TZ a little bit too slow coming in with Fanny. I think there was a, a possibility that he could have actually maneuvered around and he could actually uh, encounter most of those fights, but ended up it wasn't going in the favor of Team Liquid, but beneficial for the side of NIP Flash. Yeah, and it was Kurt TZ as well, right? That took uh, so no no retribution. Turtle stolen there. But yeah, I mean, yeah, a little bit, little bit late to the party there, Carl TZ. And let's see how both teams will stabilize uh, the next phase. Can uh, I Flash? At the moment, 1,500 gold leading. What will they do with that gold, though? Hunter Strike already committed there by Hades. So more penetration, more movement speed as well. That is what you practically need as an assassin. Agree, definitely. And slowing things down for a while now. And somehow, we know for a fact that Al might be engaging the fight with Benny QT and JP. Just already looking at, but we got the information put. Hades and JPL coming in for the backup as well as Kurti Z. Okay, for V2, practically JP and Benny against four members of NIP Flash looking for the wave clear. Gets it. And that's a setup wasted for mm. NIP Flash. Agree, definitely. I mean, like, if it, if it wasn't from Carl TZ coming in at the last minute, they could have actually go in for the, the fight already, but ended up being pulled back and uh, a waste of opportunity. But now they're moving in for a fight already. Oh, that, uh, yeah, he uh. wants to invest the blazing duet to, for clearing the wave, right? So again, all good top lane. Now, Team Liquid PH, you're going for the turtle. Fanny is in the vicinity. But now Curtizi will back away. JPL looking for an angle, will not get it. Meanwhile, Adamir though, with the I'm offended, trying to find something in JPL. Another non-jungler finds the turtle now. It's chaos, Sanji goes down. JP looking for an escape route, will find it for now. Sanford trying to stay, sustain, soak all the damage in. And Adamir is still there with Hades, so he has damage, but that will be all for the second turtle fight. Wow. That was beautiful. Almost close enough to get JP, but nevertheless, great save coming in from Sanford. And it seems that Sanford also tried to back things off. He's trying to actually at least turn things around for the team of Liquid. Man, man, oh man. Things are looking quite shaky now in the Team Liquid side. And I be Flash, great early game five minutes in they're still in the lead so i want to see some sharper mid lane execute uh, mid game execution from side of an enemy flash this game i mean look at the the goal that's already been uh, acquired by owl right he's already on the lead side i mean he haven't actually had any engagement so far but this is actually one of the reason why he's putting out nip flash at the top for the moment 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And you can see here the adjustment from the side of Team Liquid looking for a cheeky split push. But it seems like Hades, he's melt. The, he, he's, he knows that too. He sniffed that one out too. You can <laughs> see here both teams. Um, damage wise, Sanji has the most damage. All that sucks. But Admir soaking a lot of damage here will try to escape. Finds the route in top lane. Oh, it's a 4v4. Potential 5v5 with Hades coming in. Sanford trying to sustain. Oh, Sanji quite chunks. Good flicker play there. And that it will find one, but the damage will not be enough to take JPL down just yet. Team Liquid PH will not find the mark just yet. Try to go for the Nation, but then again, it's not enough to actually pull through the execution. And this is why we see that the great response coming in from TL Flash is good. Despite that NIP Flash might be at the lead right now, it, Team Liquid is performing well. And Benicuti managed to actually take down one for the team. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a huge blow, mm -hmm. right? Two members taken out. And with that, the last turtle will be all Team Liquid. And IP Flash, they manage to somehow choke all that two minutes. It's crazy right now. Oh my goodness, the damage from Call TZ will, make will be enough to take Kurt TZ almost to a 0% health. But Team Liquid now showing that they are confident in reclaiming the game. Nice. I mean, like, again, when we talk about how Team Liquid is much more sturdy, they know for a fact that when it comes to formation, they will be able to actually pull through. Even despite that NIP flash turns out to actually have a better uh, motion right now on the fight side, but it seems that Team Liquid is responding even better as well. Now, it seems that times or even motion right now is quite uh, a little bit uh, peaceful but Carl TZ is not looking for peace we'll try to go in for a fight but 3v2 situation coming in from the mid lane yeah it seems like now we flash looking again looking for that angle looking for that sweet initiation but does not find it just yet here team liquid they are in a prime position to perhaps be a nuisance of that purple buff and Hades will not be able to find the purple buff easily meanwhile bottom side it's 2v1 sanford against owl and jpl but the damage will be enough to take owl down what killer instinct this guy has agree definitely and here on out we've got hades gonna help teams out Trying to go in for a fight with Sanford and Call TZ joining in in the, in the mix at the moment right now. Hades having a little bit of struggle. JBL had to back things off just when they try to go in for the fight. It ended up not in their favor yet again. Yeah, the cutthroat damage wasn't enough to take him down. Now, in the jungles of NIP Flash. Flash, they are trying to shoo TLPH away from their jungles. An orange buff is up, so perhaps they want to prioritize that. But Owl, actually in the bottom side of the map. Oh, oh dealing damage with Adamir, but Owl will be down nonetheless. Now they want to fight with the Flicker Earth Shatter. Oh my goodness. What a play, Sanford again executing JPL. Kurt TZ next on the chopping block, but it, here comes Carl TZ with the steel cables as well. Hades goes down. One, two, three, four. Bang, 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 bang. And that's a wipeout for Team Liquid. Wow. One after another, they managed to shut down and it was just a disaster for Team NIP Flash. Yeah, five men still standing. Five men down from NIP Flash. Things are not looking good for the Singaporean team. I mean, the fact that Owl was the one who initiated, he got the first blood. He yeah. was the one who managed to take down Team Liquid, but ended up, I think they, there was not much of the coverage as well as defense-wise for Owl to actually give even more further damage on their self. And that's the reason why the moment Owl was taken out, that was the end for Team NIP. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it seems like they are marching towards more. They want the purple up now. And NIP Flash, they are trying to defend their own purple buff here. But it seems like Team Liquid, they don't care really about purple buff because now their main priority will be the Lord. Getting the Lord while taking the team of NIP Flash in another dispersion. So they're actually not focusing. But Owl oh. managed to take down Call to Z. Yeah, the bottom side of the map. Now, Adamir, now let's see. Quite low. Hades falls first. JPL soaking damage. And that oh. will be the double from Sanji. Triple kill. And meanwhile, 
Moskov jumps in to its own death, I believe, and he's low, and that's another wipeout oh. for Team Liquid and IP Flash. They're in disarray. Oh my god, just when we thought that NIP Flash could have actually had the upper hand here for the game, could this actually turn out to be 2-0 straight away for Team Liquid? A lot will be taken away for the side of Team Liquid and they already get the upper hand for themselves. Goal is already on their side as well and NIP Flash, just when we had the, the early game on their side, mid-game started to look very heavily loop side on the Team Liquid. Man, again, let's see the items, right? It's, it shows the gaps here, Fasha Bunny. Mm -hmm. You can see here um, 8,000 gold for the Fanny. Meanwhile, 6.8,000, 6,900 there for Haiti. So, yeah, that's not looking good. They, he has to have to seize Malefic Roar and as well as the Hunter Strike. So, yeah, all penetration items here uh, is what Carl TC is looking for. Meanwhile, you can see here, yeah, Claude Power Spike is there. Three items, Golden Staff, DHS, and also... It's, Wind of Nature as well is in his kit, so that's another defensive item that he can use if, if he is caught. Alright, at least they managed to actually stir things around, clears out the lot, but then we do see that the team of Liquid trying to go in for the push already. Just one more to go for the turret to be taken out, and they managed to do it out. Now Sanford all alone, fighting off with three players right in front. He doesn't need to worry much because he did manage to have a defend with Sanji right on his back. Yeah, and the thing is now, with one turret bottom, uh, with one turret already out, one inhibitor, no, it's Team Liquid, they are going to focus down on towards the top side of the map now. Five men, though, is on defense for that inhibitor, so it's all okay here. Though, they lost an important base turret, bottom side. The fact that they actually stolen uh, Zas, and it shows that how they managed to actually be using Zas in a better formation. You got like at the top two right now, Sanji with 51,652 well damage. Ooh. This is like like showing off saying that if you want to use Zas, this is how you want to actually persecute it, right? Yeah. This is 40, man. This is 40, Fasha Bunny. This is 40, 59,000 on a phobius, mind you. Oh, God. It's, yeah, of course, it has damage. And take a look at the recalls there in the mid lane, showing that they are still having fun. And an IP flash, they need an answer ASAP. True. To how to e e just neutralize the situation, mm. not just to turn the game around, just you neutralize first. And they need to find either Sanji or they need to find Benny. And it's no easy job. Agree, definitely. And there you go. We do see that there's a chance that the team of Liquid will wait it out. We've got like 70 seconds to go for a lot to come through. This is going to be the second lot. And once they pull through with that, mm -hmm. it's going to be much more harder for NIP Flash to even defend their base. And somehow, we have Carl TZ just right a corner. And he's going to actually go in with JP right on his side. Yeah, and you can see your Hades trying to clear and possibly looking for an angle here to enter the Lord Pit. But of course, Team Liquid, they will have most of the angles covered. And NIP Flasher, again, they're so, I guess, they're desperate, right? They yeah. need to find the Lord here. They need to find a good team fight, and perhaps this is not no. it. Adamir caught first, a lot of crowd control. Chain flickers out of the way, but he will fall nonetheless. Now, Owl. Finds a turret top lane, and that is the green light for Team Liquid to commit on towards the Lord. Oh, just when they drop out of it, that's when Team NIP Flash could not do anything. And here, Sanford going in for a push with Benny QD as well as JPL and Curtis right on the side right here. They had to move back just a little as Team Liquid managed to steal that lot for themselves is going to be even tougher as we're going to see them all out try to defend it off. Mm -hmm. Benny will find the baser in the mid. Lord is not up. Finally up though. So that's just one baser top lane defending the base. Now they are trying to find a pickoff perhaps with Carl Teasy, but the damage will not be enough to take Hades down just yet though. Team Liquid PH looking for an angle here whilst waiting for the Lord. Let's see. JP also try to actually go in for the initiator. Takes down Owl just a little bit to airborne. But there you go. We do see 
pushing in straight all out right here. Three plays already down, two more plays to go. Courtesy had to move back with Hades, but it's gonna be called to see to move in around with Hades left all alone to survive it out. It's gonna be another win for Team Liquid. The end of the series goes out to TLPH. Hey, TLPH, they really want to see NIV Flash go out that door.